Okay, let's take a look at the uh, most, uh, one of the most, I, I've got so many light mods I want to show you folks. It's practically unlimited, okay? Like I said, you don't absolutely have to have the SC29 flash cable, but you absolutely should have it for a thousand other reasons. Because, uh, like I said, what per defines professional photography is an expert in composition and light manipulation. And part of light manipulation is control of that light, one of its attributes. So let's take off the SC29 flash cable here. Used in Takina 100, 100 millimeter. Now you can see here on the lens that I actually have a, a Velcro attachment. And I also have on the end uh, of uh, my about four feet of a fiber optic, I have another uh, Velcro. So I can actually sit here and actually attach it to the lens and use this as a fulcrum point for illumination. Okay. But obviously my main use is actually specific light control of my angles totally change the compositional quality and nature of the light so let's take a look at what we made here you can use this at SC, um, SB800 uh, or 700 or 900 or 910 as long as you have TTL control of your lights it makes it so much easier in macro photography here you see I've got a velcro band attaching this this is such a simple contraction why this is not available commercially I have no idea this is my own little invention and it is damn incredible. Now this is some uh, thick fiber optic stuff. As you can see, these strands are 2 mil. I have 11 strands here. You could use 10 strands or 15. doesn't really matter. 10 is enough. Um, the total length on this is a hair underneath 4 feet. It doesn't actually have to be this long. But on my other SB910 uh, uh, Speedlight, I have a Velcro strip that goes around here with a brass buckle that I actually attach to my belt. So I actually have my Speedlight out like this in TTL mode hanging off of my belt. This, of course, is nothing other than a piece of a laminated cardstock that uh, fits over top of my speed light, like so. This is why every professional photographer you see has Velcro on their speed light, so you can attach various light mods to it. So, here, and have, you can see here, I have the fiber optic uh, being held in place. You can't see it by styrofoam at the proper position. What I've done is I've cut uh, 11 of these strands, like I said 10 to 15, doesn't matter. Attach, use uh, industrial duct tape, which is black. Uh, tape these up. After you cut each one to the perfect length, um, they'll actually, since it's made out of a plastic material, I forget the sort of plastic that it is, um, it'll have a jagged edge on it. It'll actually uh, almost, uh, you know, have a very jagged uh, it will just be a jagged edge, okay. Uh, take this to your stove or use a lighter. You can see how this is flared out at the end like a bell. Take each strand and actually melt it quickly over the stove just to the point where it's melted and use something metal and tap it flat so it makes a nice flat uh, end on here. Like this, do that to both ends. That uh, increases the light transmission. Okay, it makes it better uh, for uh, maximum light transmission from your speed light. It's not going to take you that long to do it. Now you can buy um, like a 50 foot strand of this. This is 2 mil. You can see how thick it is. 2 mil fiber optic. This whole thing weighs about 4 ounces. Okay. So I have full TTL control of my light through my Nikon SB910, my SC29 uh, 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 flash cable. Uh, by Nikon. Yeah, I know it's rather expensive. Do not buy the Chinese uh, crap brands. They really are very crappy. Um, most of them are not full TTL control at all. They're not. They say they are, but they're not. So you need to buy one of these. New ones like $70. I know it's really expensive. But it's so useful for so many damn things. And I've said before, one of the important things that defines a really good photography is getting your damn speed light off your damn camera. And uh, this is important for the macro photography. I can actually leave this sitting on top of my camera since I'm using the fiber optics to paint my macro subjects that I'm shooting, but it makes the, uh, makes the uh, camera ungainly because with the four batteries in this thing, this is one ungainly sucker. So I stick this in my pocket or I'll actually uh, hang it off of my belt as I told you. That's my preferred method. That way I can go out in the field and shoot insects and this thing actually sitting on uh, the top of my speed light. I said it doesn't let me attach it here. Show you this. This is so it doesn't slip off. I'm just using a simple Velcro buckle so it doesn't come off here. Just like this. How simple is that? So, so damn useful. Really, 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 really useful. I love the hell out of this thing. I've used it a lot. I told you I've got a lot of light mods to show you. And this is one of them. And this is one of my favorites. 
And I said the total cost is about four or five dollars. It'll take you about 30 minutes to make the damn thing. Okay? About 30 minutes. That's all. Not a lot. Anyway, I also always have some industrial uh, industrial duct tape, the black stuff made by 3M, so incredibly useful. And always have industrial Velcro. Go to the hardware store and buy some industrial duct tape and some industrial Velcro. And uh, I, I use that for maybe 80% of my uh, light mods. It's just so useful for so many things. And uh, Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know if you got any questions, and I'm glad I could help you out. And by the way, like I said, this thing works like a beautiful charm. It is absolutely incredible. Thanks. I'll catch you later.